Okay, what's this video about? Okay, this is a reshoot of my Atari 7800 review. I tried to do it with a dry erase board, but the, no matter what I did, the light would go back, glare off of it and forget it. Last thing about notebook paper, it doesn't do that. There's about 50 to 60 Atari 7800 games. I'm going to review all of them. There's certain games I don't I don't care for certain style of games on the system I don't care for. Air, aircraft simulator games don't care for. Get that out the way right now. Ace of, and the reason I said that is Ace of Aces, the first one, ABC order, and it was an airplane simulator. Alien Brigade was an okay game. Asteroids, great must have. If you have to have this system, that's the game that you want to get. Ball Blazer, no clue, couldn't figure it out. Basketball was an okay, but I'm not a video game basketball player. Can't play basketball in the real world either, but you know what? I ain't losing no sleep over. Simply just like asteroids. Must have. Great game. Choplifter. It was barely playable. The control the controller, the controller was atrocious. But it was barely playable. Next next one. Commando. Just like the NES game. Crack was not playable. I don't know what they were thinking with that one. Crossbow, messed up wrong. Dark Chambers, kind of a gauntlet. Desert Falcon was playable. Duke Dog was okay. The ColecoVision version was better. Donkey Kong was good, but the ColecoVision version was better. The Nintendo version is better. Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, remember what I said about Donkey Kong? Same thing. Double Dragon was playable. F-18 Hornet. Aircraft Simulator, I don't like them. Fatal Run was not playable. Food Fight, cute, playable. Good game. Galaga was okay. It was an okay game. The NES one was better, except they didn't have, except they had the score off to the side. Hat Trick was a playable hockey game. Ikari Warriors. This is the one game that that was the equal of the Nintendo. Of all the ones that are on both systems, this is the best one of, of the Atari system. Impossible Mission. Yuck. It was a waste of time. Jinx. Pass. Joust. Good port. Good game. Good port. Very entertaining. Karate Taka. Not playable. Good couldn't do anything with it. Clax. Playable. NES was better. Kung Fu Master was playable. Nasty Clax was not released. It wasn't even finished at that. Mario Brothers was playable, but then, yet again, Nintendo was better. Mean 18 Ultimate Golf. It was a, it was a bad game. Horrible game. Waste of time. Midnight Mutants, bad game, waste of time. Motorcycle, fun game, fun game. Miss Pac-Man, great game. Except the only problem I had with Miss Pac-Man was the first screen. The cherries, ugh, that cream, ugh, got to be good. Don't know what they were thinking. Ninja Golf, playable, strange, weird, but. What one you got to actually see? What on run basketball? I can't play basketball, video games. I'm not losing any sleep over it, but it is playable. Pete Rose baseball. I hate video game, video baseball games. Hate them. Planet, Planet Smashers was playable. Pole Position 2 was good. Rampage. For the system, it was great. But yet again, Nintendo was better. Real Sports Baseball was good. Robotron 2084 was good. It was good, but it could have been great. Scrap Yard Dog. I was clueless about that one. I had no idea what to do. Summer Games, same as the Nintendo. Super Hurry, another air aircraft simulator, and I don't care for aircraft simulators. 
Super Skateboard um, would not work. You, you, you get the debut screen, you get the opening screen, grab a skateboard, and you can't do anything. You just run, run back and forth on three screens. Nothing. Tank Commander. Tank Simulator. Something I have the same opinion. Title Match Pro Wrestling. It was okay. Tomcat F-14, another flight simulator. It's not my cup of tea. Touchdown football was okay. I like Tecmo Bowl better. Tire Toppler, the ROM would not work. Water ski, pass. Bust, busted controller. Winter Games, the NES was better. Xevious, NES was better. They're playable, but the, the, the Nintendo was better. Okay. Though, the, though a lot of people say that that's in the same generation as the Nintendo, as the Atari 60, I mean 5200 and ColecoVision. No, I think it's in the Nintendo generation. I would put it with the Nintendo and with the Sega Master System. That's where I would put it. That's my opinion. Do I think the Atari 7800 was a good system? Yes, I do. And it, but it had one good thing going for it. It was backwards compatible for the Atari 2600. It needed it needed like three titles that it didn't have. But if you went to backwards compatibility, got them. That would be Space Invaders. I don't remember if Mr. Knapp was on this. No, this man was not on. But and battle zone. But backwards compatibility, you got all three of them on the twenty six hundred. Do I think it's a good system? Yeah. Do I think it's better than the Nintendo? No way. No way. Nope, I ain't that stupid to make that statement. If I could find one that was modded to fit current TVs, would I get one? Before I got that emulator, before I got the, the, the Xbox with all the emulators on it? Maybe. Maybe. But with that, don't need it. Because of my luck, I'd buy one online, get it all of a sudden, no power, on pack it, no power cord. And what am I going to do at that point? Ah! I don't have to worry about that. Till next time. Bye bye.